When police arrive, Adabalajo charges towards them. We're not showing the moment they were shot by firearms officers, but you can hear what happened. A soldier killed in yesterday's horrific attack right here in Woolwich has been named as 25-year-old drummer Lee Rigby. The widow of soldier Lee Rigby left a courtroom in tears today as the prosecution read out eyewitness accounts of how her late husband was run over and then attacked with a meat cleaver and knife. Hello everyone and welcome back to Finkers Paradox. Today we are going to do a sad video on Lee Rigby. Let's begin. In the heart of London's Woolwich, a vibrant community where the city's pulse beats strong, a tragedy unfolded that would leave an indelible mark in the UK. This is a story of Lee Rigby, a soldier, a father, a son and a friend whose life was taken in an act of senselessness violence that reverberated across the world. Born on July the 4th, 1987 in Crumsall, Manchester, Lee Rigby was known for his cheeky smile and zest for life. From a young age, Lee felt the call of duty to serve his country. In an interview with Lee's mother, quote, Lee always wanted to be part of something greater. He had such respect for armed forces. It was no surprise when he enlisted, unquote. At the age of 18, Lee took the bold step to join the British Army, enlisting in the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. He quickly became known for his dedication and his unwavering spirit. But Lee's life was not defined solely by his service. He was a devoted husband to his wife Rebecca and a loving father to his son Jack. In an interview with Lee's wife, quote, Lee was the most amazing husband and father he was my rock, and he adored Jack. They were inseparable whenever Lee was home." Unquote. On May the 22nd, 2013, the unimaginable happened. As Lee walked the streets of Woolwich, his life was taken in a brutal and public act of terror. The attackers sought to justify the horrendous act with twisted ideologies, aiming to instill fear and division but they failed to understand the strength of the community and the resolve of the nation. In the face of horror, there were acts of extraordinary courage. Members of the public and armed personnel confronted the attackers, providing aid to Lee and ensuring the safety of others. The pursuit of justice was swift. The trial gripped the nation as the details of that horroring day were laid bare. The verdicts delivered a measure of closure, but the pain of loss remained. Out of the depths of despair, the spirit of resilience emerged. Lee's legacy lives on, not only through the memories of those who loved him, but also through charitable efforts established in his name. In an interview with one of the charity organisers, in quotes, Lee's passing was a catalyst for unity. We've set up foundation events to support veterans and to ensure his memory is honoured through acts of kindness and community support." Unquote. The unbreakable spirit of the nation is often measured in its response to adversity. Lee Rigby's murder tested the UK, but he also demonstrated that the country's resolve to stand firm against violence and extremism. Those who knew Lee best remember him not for the manner of his death, but for the vibrancy of his life. His infectious laugh, his generosity, his love for music, and Manchester United. These are the memories that endure. Each year, as the nation pauses to remember those who have fallen, Lee Rigby's name is spoken with reverence. His sacrifice, a stark reminder to the cost of freedom, continues to inspire acts of unity and peace. In the quiet moments of reflection as the sun sets on another day, we think of Fusilier, Lee Rigby, and the loved ones he left behind. His story woven into the fabric of his nation's history reminds us that even in great darkness, there is light. In the memories we cherish, the legacies we build, the future we shape together.
Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and hit that like button. It's the absolute minimum you can do to support the channel. Um, yeah, thank you very much. See you next time.